right, guys, we have one last bit of movie news to cover. And this is, I need to preface this by saying this is, com it's not complete speculation. There, uh, how do you, how do you preface this? So, as we know, Spider-Man 3 is currently filming down in Atlanta. Uh, Disney and Marvel Studios refuse to tell Tom Holland any of the nitty-gritty details uh, about what is happening in the movie and who the big characters and some of the big reveals are in the movie for fear that he is going to spoil things before it's time for them to be talked about or spoiled or promoted or anything like that. Reports are coming about this and reports are coming about that. We know Alfred Molina is in the movie reprising his role as Doc Ock. We know Jamie Foxx is in the movie reprising his role as Electro. We know that uh, it's it, Sony has been teasing Ned Leeds, uh, the actor Jacob Badalan, coming in as Hobgoblin at, at some point. Who knows? Uh, Michael Keaton as the Vulture was previously in the film. Uh, Mac Gargan, the Scorpion, was in the first Homecoming movie. Um... Uh, the Shocker, two versions of the Shocker have been here. Uh, uh, is is Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio actually dead? We don't know. J. Jonah Jameson has now crossed over from, from that universe into this universe. Hey, multiverse, it's happening. Now in WandaVision, uh, spoilers, I'm not going to talk about them, but spoilers about multiverse type stuff have started happening in the WandaVision series. So we know the multiverse is going to play a huge role in this. Question is, is Willem Dafoe going to come back and play the hot uh, and, and play the Green Goblin? It's possible. Green Goblin is Spider-Man's ultimate number one villain of all time. You think Batman, you think the Joker. Uh, you think uh, Wonder Woman, you think Cheetah. Uh, you think Superman, you think Lex Luthor. You think Spider-Man, you think Green Goblin. Um, so this particular website, GWW, I've never heard of it before. Um, they're probably just as repu reputable as gotta love them movies, right? Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea of the validity of this. In this particular article on GWW, they are uh, reporting that Willem Dafoe has been spotted on set in Atlanta of uh, Spider-Man 3. Uh, it says, back in December, the Illuminerd reported Willem Dafoe was in talks to join the packed cast of the MCU Spider-Man 3. Well, now we can fully support this claim as sources close to GWW and the same ones who revealed to us that Alfred Molina was cast in the Spidey sequel have now informed us that Willem Dafoe has reported to the set as of today. Now, this, this article came out on February 5th. So, what? Four days ago. So, as of four days ago, it is being reported that Willem Dafoe has been seen on the set of Spider-Man 3. And these are coming from the same sources who claimed or reported that Alfred Molina was also confirmed to come back and reprise his role as Doc Ock in the same movie. Take this with a grain of salt. Is this news true? Maybe. It might be true. It also might not be. Um, we don't know who these sources are. I, like I said, I've never heard of this website, GWW. It's possible that this is true. It's possible that they were the ones to break this story. Um, the thing about it is that GWW, as a news reporting agency or website or news source, they're not the same as Variety. They're not the same as Deadline. They're not the same as Rolling Stone. They're not the same, heck, even as Collider. They're not as reputable as Collider. Not to say that this isn't true. I'm not saying that it's not true. I'm just saying we need to take this information with a grain of salt. Um... Willem Dafoe showing up on set as Green Goblin very well could happen. There's a very real chance that Tobey Maguire and or Andrew Garfield are going to make appearances in this movie. Very good chances. Has it been confirmed? No. 
None of that has been like those actors have not been confirmed. It has not been confirmed that Willem Dafoe is is in the movie. It has not been confirmed that he's on set. It has not been confirmed that he was in talks to reprise his role of Green Goblin for this movie. These are all rumors. Um, so while it's fun and interesting to talk about them and to get excited about, oh man, you want to talk to Sinister Six? There's there's no better character to have in the Sinister Six than Green Goblin, and especially Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. Like, what a great version! What a like almost iconic, dare I say, perfect depiction. Of the Green Goblin. Now, of course, yeah, like the, the green plastic mask, that was that was hokey. But Willem Dafoe himself, mwah, perfect, right? Um, This could be really cool. This could be really cool. Um, But knowing what we already know with Jamie Foxx and Alfred Molina, um, seeing this version of the Green Goblin come back um, would just be icing on the cake. This is not going to break down any walls. This is not going to be jaw dropping. What? Like that kind of news, right? That's, that was the news for Jamie Foxx's electro. Like we were all like, that's how we got about um, uh, the news for Jamie Foxx was going to come back and uh, and portray electro for a second time. Um, If, if this is true, if Willem Dafoe is coming back to reprise the Green Goblin in the Spider-Man 3 movie, um, it will be awesome. It will be very rewarding for the fans to see and behold, especially the way that the multiverse is going to unfold the way that we kind of hope and think it might. But this is also not the most shocking of news. We need to take this with a grain of salt. It hasn't been confirmed. We can't take this to the bank. We don't actually we don't actually know anything yet. But Mike, GWW has been reporting this for four days now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. But <laughs> did you like that? My my little old man. But Mike I almost did a spit take. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that's the thing. Like, we don't have any firm confirmation yet. We don't like nobody. I'm sorry. My, my autofocus is out of, there we go. Um, we don't have any firm confirmation. It's rumored. Is it true? Yeah, maybe could be, I don't know, but also maybe not. So let's not run around, uh, start shouting from the rooftops. It's been confirmed because nothing has been confirmed yet. It's being reported through a rumor and the rumor might be true but they're not the most reputable website irene i just ranted for about 20 minutes about this whole thing um how do you feel about these kinds of rumors um and like uh, how do you feel about gww maybe you've heard of them maybe you haven't uh do you think that this is a reputable source of information do you think this is true where do you stand um I, first, I have to say, I also enjoyed your impression of, like, the Roger Rabbit <laughs> moment that you did. I also enjoyed that a lot. And a lot of laughs while you were talking all about this. Um, Aruga! Yeah, GW... <laughs> GWW... Uh, it, what, so what's that? George Washington Warniversity? Yeah, Warniversity, yeah. <laughs> Warniversity? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I have not heard of it. So, um, so yeah, you're right. I don't think you can take it to heart. Uh, but when people talk about stuff, they, they sometimes get stuff to happen, right? So putting it out there, maybe it will happen because it's been talked about. So, um, I, but I think William, Def, William, William Defoe, first off, I always think of how I met your mother where they go, William Defoe, <laughs> William <laughs> Defoe. I loved how I met your mother, but I don't uh, remember that moment. Ted is at the architecture party and he gets to like meet the guy who creates all the New York Times par- crosswords. And um, he's super stoked to just like be at this party while his friends are like, ugh. Anyway, and they meet um, uh, the director who wears the bow ties. Who, the, anyway. Um, John Waters. I don't. Uh, so I, I, I want to address <laughs> one thing that you said earlier. Um, 
where like sometimes just by talking about something and if you get enough people talking about it, sometimes you can bring that thing to fruition. The one fly in the ointment here is that they're currently filming. They're not going to change the script midway through right. filming just because we want this thing to happen. I understand that, you know, by fans talking and saying, that's not how Sonic the Hedgehog should look. Then, okay, then they delayed the film and they made the proper adjustments and they changed the look of Sonic the Hedgehog and it actually turned out to be for the better. But sometimes fans clamoring and saying, Meh, usually isn't the best course of action there. <laughs> you're, you're pulling out so many great um, characters right now. Like it's <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an improviser. Um, what else should I do? What else can you do? Nothing. There's nothing else to do. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I agree. You're right. I don't know. I just, I think that you're, you're right. They can't change the script, but maybe there were talks about it before and who knows? I don't know. It's, it's, it will be cool. It sounds like it's going to be a cool movie. I mean, you know, they're not telling uh, anything to Spider-Man because if he talks about it, he'd blow the, he'd blow everything out of the water. He'd press tour with him. So, um, you know, it's, we just don't know. Yeah, that's the but whole thing. Funny. We just, we don't know. Uh, we don't have any firm uh, things right now. It's, it's all, it's, it's a little bit more nebulous. But question for you guys is, do you think that this rumor is true? Uh, if it is, if Willem Dafoe actually ends up showing up on set in, in the movie, um, what is implications would that make for the future MCU that haven't already been made uh, through Doc Ock or uh, Jamie Foxx's Electro? I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know what those are. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Tony Stark's Iron Man would want you to do. Dune, dun, 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 d